Hey everybody out in Facebook land, welcome to Tuesday night and it is time for a moment in the word. Uh, and this is where I read scripture. I ask you to open your Bibles and join me and read along with me so that we can receive the fruit of the word, some wisdom from the word, and just, you know, faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. Amen. So tonight we are uh, reading from Hebrews 12. So a moment in the word is sponsored by Hebrews 12. Are you ready for it? So open up your Bibles, Hebrews 12, verse 1, the race of faith. And here we go. Therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us, and let us run the endurance, the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who, for the joy that was set before him, endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat at, down at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him who endured such hostility from sinners against himself, lest you become weary and discouraged in your souls. You have not yet resisted to bloodshed, striving against sin, and you have forgotten the exhortation which speaks to you as sons. My son, do not despise the chastening of the Lord, nor be discouraged when you are rebuked by him. For whom the Lord loves, he chastens and scourges every son whom he receives. If you endure chastening, God deals with you as with sons. For what son is there whom a father does not chasten? But if you are without chastening, of which all become partakers, then you are illegitimate and not sons. Furthermore, we have had human fathers who corrected us, and we paid them respect. Shall we not much more readily be in subjection to the Father of spirits and live? For they indeed for a few days chasten us as seemed best to them. But he for our profit, and we may be partakers of his holiness. Now no chastening seems to be joyful for the present, but painful nevertheless. Afterward it yields the peaceable fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. Therefore strengthen the hands which hang down and the feeble knees, and make straight paths for your feet, so that what is lame may not be dislocated, but rather be healed. Pursue peace with all people and holiness without which no one will see the Lord. Looking carefully, lest anyone fall short of the grace of God, lest any root of bitterness springing up cause trouble, and by this many become defiled. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person like Esau, who for the morsel of food sold his birthright when he wanted to inherit the blessing, he was rejected, for he found no place for repentance, though he sought it diligently with tears. For you have not come to the mountain that may be touched and that burned with fire, and to blackness and darkness and tempest, and the sound of a trumpet and the voice of words so that those who heard it begged that the word should not be spoken to them any more, for they could not endure what was commanded. And if so much as a beast touches the mountain, it shall be stoned or shot with an arrow. And so terrifying was the sight that Moses said, I am exceedingly afraid and trembling. But have come to Mount Zion and to the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, to innumerable company of angels. Innumerable, innumerable, innumerable company of angels. To the general assembly and church of the firstborn who are registered in heaven, who are registered in heaven, to God the judge of all, to the spirits of just men made perfect, to Jesus the mediator of the new covenant, and to the blood of sprinkling that speaks better things that of Abel. 
See that you do not refuse him who speaks. For if they did not escape who refused him who spoke on earth, much more shall we not escape if we turn away from him who speaks from heaven, whose voice then shook the earth, but now he has promised, saying, Yet once more I shake not only the earth, but also heaven. Now this, yet once more, indicates the removal of those things that are being shaken, as of things that are made, that the things which cannot be shaken may remain. Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom which cannot be shaken, let us have grace by which we may serve God acceptably and reverence and godly fear. For our God is a consuming fire. Amen. Praise God. I pray that we all get the anointing on that word, some wisdom from it, and uh, just shows that God's going to treat us like his children. And that's the bottom line. So tonight's word was, um, you know, Hebrews 12. And it was, a, it was uh, sponsored by Hebrews 12. And, uh, you know, I got to honestly put it out there this, to, this evening that if you're, if you're hungry for the word, if you really want to get a closer walk with the Lord and you're not in a church and you're not rooted and grounded in the word, then I'm inviting you right now, Sunday morning at 1030 a.m., to come join us at Central Chapel at 405 Beverly Parkway, Pensacola, Florida, 32505. The service begins at 1030. We would love to have you come visit or watch us on Facebook. Uh, I'll put, I put up links all the time on all my Facebooks. And join us, uh, you know, live uh, via Facebook stream. Uh, but anyway, I pray that you'll come join us. I pray that you'll watch us and listen to us. We've got a dynamic pastor that's on fire with the Lord. Uh, Pastor Mike Pickett and on Thursday night we're having a, a study in apologetics with Pastor Jonathan Miller which is a real good meat and potatoes uh, word for, for preparing the saints and I'm telling you we have a church that's really on fire for God uh, we have outreach programs we have the walking bread ministries uh, going out and feeding the homeless cooking hot meals twice a month for these people let me tell you something. If you want a church that's not sitting around doing nothing and you want a church that's doing something, Central Chapel is the church that you need to come visit and check out because we're taking God's Word literally and we're doing it. We're doing God's Word. We're not talking about God's Word. So, And I just want to praise God for the, re for the reading tonight and for those of you who have tuned in. Uh, God bless you. I pray that your evening is peaceful and that you can just soak in the Word of God. Uh, and uh, have a blessed day in the morning. So you have a blessed night and good night. And thanks for tuning in to A Moment in the Word with me.